It is finally time for the 2023 Boston Marathon. This race is easily one of the most anticipated marathons in 2023. In fact, it might be one of the most anticipated marathons of all time. And this is all because of one very special athlete competing in this race, and that man is the world record holder himself, Elliot Kipchoge from Kenya. For more than a decade, there hasn't been a single race that Kipchoge could not absolutely dominate. From the streets of London to the roads of Chicago to the world record race that was the 2022 Berlin Marathon, this special Kenyan runner has made more history than any athlete before him in this distance. However, for this year's race in Boston, Kipchoge will be making his Boston Marathon debut, and he just might have his greatest challenge to date, as this race is one of the most unpredictable marathons in the world. What separates Boston from any other world marathon major is the special blend of uphill and downhill running that varies much more than any other major throughout the year. If we take a look at the elevation maps of each race, we can see clearly that Boston is just built different, and in the minds of many around the world, this hilly course will present Kipchoge with one of the biggest challenges of his career so far. However, it's not just the hills that will inevitably affect these runners, it's the unpredictable weather and also the unpredictable tempo that results from no pacers being present in this race. With so many moving pieces to a 26.2 mile run, this marathon is somewhat of a chess match when it comes to endurance performances. However, unlike anyone else in the history of the marathon, or really any running event for that matter, Kipchoge is capable of making the right moves at the right time, and he does it better than anyone else in history. And in this year's installment of the Boston Marathon, we saw a truly spectacular race. Now, to kick things off, this race started with close to ideal racing conditions. It was approximately 9 degrees Celsius, it was overcast, and while the rain was trying to make its appearance here, it was mostly clear, meaning that the racing conditions were close to perfect. The only thing that was really going to present an issue for the runners here was the wind, as the gust speeds were about 10 kilometers per hour, and it was blowing directly into the athletes as they were getting started. But given that much worse weather can be present in Boston, this was quite the nice day for a marathon, and with conditions looking pretty solid, it did not take long at all for this race to unfold. Through the opening five kilometers, the field split a blistering time of 14 minutes and 17 seconds, which is almost exactly two hour finishing pace for the marathon. This opening 5K represents an overall pace of two minutes 51.4 seconds per kilometer, or four minutes 35.84 seconds per mile. So yeah, these guys were moving through this opening five kilometers, but it wasn't all that surprising given that this was a completely downhill portion, but still, it was very exciting to see the pace start off red hot. Through this early stage, the field still had about 15 athletes hanging up front, but as the following kilometers approached, the field would only get smaller and smaller. Through the 10 kilometer split, the pace was still super quick, as they split a time of 28 minutes and 52 seconds. Overall, the pace had slowed slightly, but they were still running at a pace of 253 per kilometer, or 438 per mile. However, it was quite obvious that the pace was starting to slow down, and in large part, this was because the rain was officially making an appearance. This opening 10 kilometers was still very quick, but at this point, the course record of Jeffrey Mutai was starting to slip away as their projected finish was around two hours and four minutes. And even though this potential course record was becoming less and less likely, the competition up front was still extremely strong with none other than Kipchoge leading the way. Approaching the half marathon split, the field was still about 12 athletes strong, including Connor Mance from the United States, CJ Albertson from the United States, Benson Kipruto from Kenya, Evans Chibet from Kenya, and also Elliot Kipchoge, the world record holder in the marathon. At this point, most of these front athletes were still looking quite comfortable, and with a half marathon split time of 1 hour 2 minutes and 19 seconds, the field was officially through the halfway point. Now, by the half marathon split, the conditions had officially gotten much, much worse, with the rain now clearly affecting the runners up front. Now, they were still moving quite well, but the course record at this point was almost completely out of reach. Through the 30 kilometer mark, the field hit a time of 1 hour 29 minutes and 23 seconds, an overall pace of 448 per mile or 258 per kilometer. 
But then, something completely unthinkable happened. Gabriel Guillet from Tanzania made a huge surge just after the 1 hour and 30 minute mark, and upon making this move, not only did nobody else go with him, but Eliud Kipchoge fell to the back of the pack very quickly. Initially, this wasn't super concerning, because Guillet's move was clearly a very quick surge, but over the following few minutes, Kipchoge only continued to fall more and more off of the lead. By the 35 kilometer mark, Evans Chibet was now pushing very strong up front, with Benson Cabruto and John Career following close behind. And through this 35 kilometer split, they hit a time of 1 hour 44 minutes and 19 seconds. And for Elliot Kipchoge, he hit a time of 1 hour 45 minutes and 32 seconds, more than a full minute off of the lead pack. Given Kipchoge's undisputed GOAT status and his recent world record from 2022, this drop was definitely unexpected, and even though he was clearly struggling at this point, the race up front was shaping up to be extremely competitive. After passing through 35 kilometers, it was now down to Evans Chibet and Gabriel Guillet, both running extremely fast in the lead, with Benson Cabruto also hanging on about 10 seconds behind. With just a few kilometers remaining in this race, it was now Evans Chibet clearly in the lead, and battling for second was Gabriel Guillet and Benson Cabruto. But the pace of Chibet up front was just too much for anyone else to handle, as he glided away from the pack over the final few kilometers. And with a final mile of right around 4 minutes and 45 seconds, Evans Chibet won this race in 2 hours, 5 minutes, and 54 seconds, successfully defending his title in the Boston Marathon. Finishing in second with a very impressive close was Gabriel Guillet in 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 4 seconds, barely edging out Benson Capruto, who finished just a few seconds behind. Now, this race was quite historic for the obvious reason that Kipchoge did not win, but we have to give credit where credit is due. Despite clearly not having his day, Kipchoge still finished this race, and he maintained his form over the final stages, finishing in 2 hours, 9 minutes, and 23 seconds, a 6th place finish in the Boston Marathon. After hitting 30 kilometers, Kipchoge's pace slowed down from 4 minutes and 50 seconds down to around 5 minutes and 15 seconds over the final stages. And unfortunately, it did appear as though his slowest part was over the final few kilometers, as he finished this closing stage in around 5 minutes and 40 seconds per mile. Kipchoge struggled and ran under 2 hours and 10 minutes, a very impressive performance for this marathon legend. Now, there were a few different theories as to exactly what happened with Elliot Kipchoge on this day, but the primary theory was that he actually missed a water checkpoint, and when you miss a water station like this, it can hold severe consequences, as you do need a lot of nutrition over a 26.2 mile race. Now, there's no way of concretely saying that this is why he did not finish in first place, but I'm sure it did have a negative effect on him. But either way, Kipchoge is still Kipchoge, and he certainly ran well in this race. The 2023 Boston Marathon certainly brought all of the drama, from a lightning quick opening 10 kilometers to a much slower pace going up the hills, and then, once again, a very quick finish by the eventual winner, Evans Chibet. This race is still one of the most unpredictable and difficult races in the world. And on this day, despite his best effort, Kipchoge finished in sixth place in two hours and nine minutes. This race certainly brought all the drama, and congratulations to Evans Chibet on his successful Boston Marathon defense. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.